Your station, your voice. BBC Radio Merseyside. Now take a trip round Wirral or Chester and you can't fail to find evidence of the Vikings who settled in the area during the 10th century. A thing wall, first to stun just two of the local place names derived from Norse. Now this morning a band of enthusiasts will once again be walking from West Kirby to Neston, the first of this year's Viking Heritage Walks to mark St. Olaf's Day. Professor Stephen Harding is a Viking expert from Wirral, a fan of Tramnir Rovers, uh, the only team in the Football League with a Norwegian Viking name, and he joins me now. Uh, morning to you, Professor. Morning, Tony. Well, actually, that's not true now, because we got relegated to other league two years ago. Oh, of course, well, yeah. Sorry about that. Fingers crossed this season. Fingers crossed. We might be back. Let's, uh, let's hope so. Please. Let's yeah. hope so. Uh, I've just been having a bit of fun with my colleague there, and um, some some get it, some don't. We, we, we did that, that horn blow from the Vikings. You know the one, that one. <laughs> now, my knowledge of the Vikings came from Kirk Douglas and Tony Curtis and that film, and, of course, that was all so accurate, wasn't it? It was brilliant. The one, or two, one or two slight inaccuracies, I think, but uh, uh, the, it was a fantastic film. Uh, and uh, there's also the the Norseman with Lee Majors. I I, I like so uh, some of that old stuff was uh, w- w- was great. And also you've got the sort of the the Last Kingdom, you know, where mm. Ethel Fled falls in love with Eric, all this sort of stuff more recently. So yeah, some good 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 shows on TV. They've been going a long time now. These uh, Viking heritage walks and some of the names that we that we get in our everyday language from uh, from from the Vikings as well. Dregs, Maya, Muck, Rotten. All of these words are, are, are Viking. Egg. Law, egg. yeah, law. You all know, you think of the Vikings yeah. being unruly, but well, the word law comes from the Vikings. And the window is another one. The you know, Vindar, the the eye of the wind. So yeah, uh, the language is littered with uh, uh, with Norse words. Yeah. And you're you're on the walk at the moment, are you? you you're, you're no, no, no. The, the walk is starting. We're, we're starting at nine thirty from St Bridges Church, uh, West Kirby. We're at West Kirby at the moment. Actually, it's absolutely beautiful. It's at the marina. Mm. It's going to be. Uh, a fantastic day. And uh, then we walk uh, past Thurston. If anyone wants to join us later, we'll be uh, getting to Thurston and stopping for a cup of tea at the visitor centre around uh, uh, 11 o'clock. And then we, uh, we'll end up in Neston around uh, uh, about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Uh, and we'll be you know, going past Viking uh, points of interest, starting off at St. Bridget's Church, where we've got this magnificent uh, uh, Viking hogback tombstone. And finishing today, at Neston at the Church of St. Mary, uh, St. Helen, where they've got these uh, wonderful uh, Viking cross artifacts, including this uh, fantastic uh, yeah. reconstruction of this uh, Viking lady with her uh, arm around the waist of uh, her husband. It's, uh, uh, and we've been talking about that. So, yeah, it should be fun. Tell me about St. Olav. Who is St. Olav? And it's St. Olav's Day itself today, isn't it? Indeed. Uh, well, no, no. Today is on the 29th of, uh, of, of July. It's this Saturday. So this is part one of the walk, right. uh, nine miles. Then we've got part two on Saturday, which goes from the National Waterways Museum, Meldermere Fort, along the canal, around the city walls, to uh, St. Olav's uh, Church. That's a further nine miles. You know, we... Uh, Nine miles is probably enough, so she's getting a bit older like, uh, like, like, like us. So, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's just the Neston Day. So, Dillard was a patron in Norway. He died in a battle at 1030 or something, and, uh, you know, Norwegians think, uh, uh, you know, think he's fantastic that we have this pilgrimage in Norway every year. And this one we have here is like a, uh, a, a, a mini uh, version of that. I've got to ask you about the, uh, the, the Vikings. Did they get a bad press? Because, again, I, I got most of my knowledge, and many people will, just from, from the films. I mean, they, they got raped and pillaged, and off they went, and in they went there, and, you know, a terrible, terrible race of people to be feared. I, is, that, is that a fair description? Oh, they, they, they were to be feared, uh, yes, but don't forget that that was uh, common amongst uh, uh, everybody else at the time. It wasn't just the Vikings who... Uh, uh, were uh, were quite rough and, uh, and, and, and and naughty, but there is this sort of uh, uh, you know romance uh, about them because of the uh, adventurous nature, the you know exploring and everything else. But they yeah. were uh, a really uh, fantastic group of people. If you ignore all the naughty bits. all the naughty bits, yeah. <laughs> and and just one final one, uh, Stephen uh, Tramnir. What does it mean in Viking? Tramnir comes from the uh, old Norse uh, Tranmel. 
which means Mel is the sandbank and Tran is uh, uh, a crane, not, not not the sort of camel bird, but the you know the birds, the, the bird. crane bird or or yeah. heron. Yeah. Great to talk to you. And uh, if they ever remake the Vikings, uh, I think they should put on the trail for for the cinema. Uh, they were quite naughty, as you said before. <laughs> uh, but don't forget, Tony, we've got this walk. If everyone wants to join us, yep. then uh, get, get themselves down to St. Bridget's Church, West Kirby, uh, for 9.30. Or if they can't make it there, uh, join us at Thurston around 11 o'clock. And uh, it's it, it, it's good fun. Very leisurely pace. Good stuff. Stop Thank you, Stephen. Yep. Take care. Bye, right, Tony. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. Brilliant. Smelly in the morning. BBC Radio Merseyside. So there you go, Mel Harvey. That's what that was all about. <laughs> it, was the, it was the big horn from, <laughs> from the Vikings. Uh, Melanie Harvey's back with us, and uh, we'll take a look at the stories on the inside pages as we go up to 8 o'clock.